magnesium is an extremely important mineral and the fact is most of us are deficient in magnesium. This has got a lot to do with the way that we farm our crops and we don't replace the minerals that the plants take out. There are a number of sources of uh, magnesium in the diet and we'll have a look at those in a moment but let's have a look first and see what magnesium actually does in the body. First and foremost it helps keep the bones strong and in fact about 50% of the magnesium in your body is found in the bones. Now every cell in your body uses enzymes to help reactions and magnesium is a cofactor in more than 300 biochemical reactions. Magnesium is very important in muscle contraction and it's also important in nerve function. A nerve is activated when calcium flows in and magnesium blocks the flow of this calcium into the nerve and helps keep it in a relaxed state. And this relaxed state can translate into lower blood pressure. And linked with that is the fact that magnesium, being the calcium channel blocker, helps to keep the heart relaxed between beats, thereby helping us to maintain a healthy heart rhythm. It's also been shown in scientific studies that a deficiency in magnesium can weaken the immune system. In some scientific studies it's been shown that people who have lower levels of magnesium in their blood are more likely to develop type 2 diabetes. And although there are studies that have not shown a link between magnesium and blood sugar levels, there is some studies which suggest that magnesium supports the optimal insulin and blood sugar metabolism in the body. And there are also studies which suggest that magnesium can reduce the blood pressure in people who have high blood pressure. Magnesium is also required for energy metabolism and it's been shown that people with low levels of magnesium in their muscles get tired a lot quicker when they're doing moderate levels of activity. In fact, the unit of energy that we use in the body is called adenosine triphosphate or ATP and that's always found as a magnesium ATP complex. Now, magnesium is also needed for the production of protein chains from amino acids. Now, protein chains can be anything from enzymes to structural proteins or globular proteins, and it has been shown that this protein synthesis is dependent on magnesium concentrations. And related to that is the fact that magnesium is necessary for the attachment of messenger RNA to the ribosome, which is required when proteins are being synthesized. So that's quite a lot of important reactions that magnesium are involved in in our bodies. And as I said at the beginning, a lot of people are deficient in magnesium. And this can translate into all sorts of side effects and, and symptoms. But let's have a look at the types of food where you can actually get your magnesium either by eating the food or by juicing it. Magnesium can be found in a wide range of fruit and vegetables. Things like broccoli and cauliflower, uh, avocados, parsley, spinach, beetroots and the greens of the beetroots, bananas, dandelion leaves, peanuts and other nuts like almonds are very good as well and cashews, celery, blackberries and carrots.